All right, all right. We got Corduroy, a little bear. Let's see what this bear is going to do today. Corduroy is a bear who once lived in a toy department of a big store. Day after day, he waited with all the other animals and dolls for somebody along to come and take him home. All these toys, there's a giraffe, a doll, a bunny, and a clown. They're all waiting to go home with somebody. The store was always filled with shoppers buying all sorts of things, but no one ever seemed to want a small bear in green overalls. There, there he is right there with all those other toys. Then one morning, a little girl stopped and looked straight into Corduroy's bright eyes. Oh, Mommy, she said, look, there's the very bear I've always wanted. Oh, look, this little girl wants the Corduroy. Not today, dear, her mother sighed. I've spent too much money already. Besides, he doesn't look new. He's lost the button to one of his shoulder straps. Nope, can't buy it today, but do you see right here? It's missing a button. I wonder what he's going to do about it. Corduroy watched them sadly as they walked away. Um, he wanted to go home with her. I didn't know I'd lost a button, he said to himself. Tonight I'll go and see if I can find it. I think he'll find it. I wonder where he's going to look. Late that evening, when all the shoppers had gone and the doors were shut and locked, Corduroy climbed carefully down from his shelf. Where is it? Where's the button? All the other toys are still there. And began searching everywhere on the floor for his lost button. Looking all over. Mm. Suddenly, he felt the floor moving under him. Quite by accident, he had stepped onto what? What do you think that is? Do you know what that's called? It's called an escalator, and up he went. <gasps> Could this be a mountain, he wondered? I think I've always wanted to climb a mountain. I wonder if Corduroy thinks the escalator is a mountain. He's probably never seen a mountain before. <gasps> He stepped off the escalator as it reached the next floor, and there, before his eyes, was the most amazing sight. Whoa. You see where he is? With all those beds and couches. <gasps> Tables and chairs and lamps and sofas and rows and rows of beds. This must be a palace, Corduroy gasped. I guess I've always wanted to live in a palace. Well, a palace is like another word for a castle that has lots and lots of furniture for them to be on. He wandered around admiring the furniture. This must be a bed, he said. I've always wanted to sleep in a bed. And he crawled on to a large, thick mattress. What do you think he's going to find on here? Do you see anything on this mattress that looks interesting? All at once, he saw something small and round. Why, here's my button, he cried, and he tried to pick it up. But like all the other buttons on the mattress, it was tied down tight. He's trying to pull that button off. Do you think that's his button, though? I think someone found his button sewed to a mattress. He yanked and pulled with both paws until pop. Look what happened. Off flew the button, and off of the mattress, Corduroy tumbled. <gasps> Bang! Onto a tall floor lamp, over it fell with a crash. So he pulled the button off, but then he fell off the bed and crashed into a lamp. <gasps> Corduroy didn't know it, but there was someone else awake in the store. The night watchman was going his rounds on the floor above. When he heard the crash, he came dashing down the escalator. So it's kind of like a security guard where he makes sure that nothing crazy happens at the store when everyone's away. Now who in the world did that, he exclaimed. Someone must be hiding around here. Uh-oh, do you think he's going to find Corduroy? Corduroy.
<gasps> he flashed his light under and over sofas and bed until he came to the biggest bed of all. And there he saw two fuzzy brown ears sticking up from under the cover. And look who it was. It was quite a way. Hello, he said. How did you get upstairs? Hmm. <laughs> The watchman tucked Corduroy under his arm and carried him down the escalator and set him on the shelf in the toy department with all the other animals and dolls. There he's falling asleep. Corduroy was just waking up when the first customer came into the store in the morning. And there, looking at him with a wide, warm smile, was the same little girl he'd seen only the day before. Look at that, she's coming back. <gasps> I'm Lisa, and you're going to be my very own bear. Last night I counted what I've saved in my piggy bank, and my mother said I could bring you home. Well, look at that, she had money saved up. I know a lot of you kids have money saved up. Shall I put him in a box for you? The sales lady asked. Oh, no, thank you, Lisa answered, and she carried Corduroy home in her arms. Look, she's just walking away. She just wanted to hold him. And she ran all the way up four flights of stairs and into her family's apartment and straight to her own room. There she goes. What is she going to do with Corduroy? Corduroy blinked. There was a chair and a chest of drawers, and alongside a girl-sized bed, a little bed just the right size for him. The room was small, nothing like the enormous palace in the department store. And he said, this must be home. I know, I've always wanted a home. And look, here's her bed. And here's a little bed for him. See? Lisa sat down with Corduroy on her lap and began to sew a button on his overalls. I like you the way you are, she said, but you'll be more comfortable with your shoulder strap fastened. Look at that, she knows how to sew. She can sew a button right back on for him. You must be a friend, said Corduroy. I've always wanted a friend. Me too, said Lisa, and gave him a big hug. Oh, I wish I could give you guys all a big hug right now. But for now, I'm just hugging through the computer. <laughs>